Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a speed build and it is going to be another cottage. Okay, I just did a cottage, but I'm going to be doing another one today. And first of all, I wanted to make a trail that leaves up, that leads up to the cottage. So I wanted to put a bunch of trees and yes, yeah, so I'm just placing those trees right now. And it's going to be like the driveway of the house. So yeah, I'm putting all the trees. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you could please subscribe, that would really help me out. I have a goal of hitting a thousand subscribers and I'm at 850, so we are almost there and just consider subscribing and if you always, and if you want to change your mind later, you obviously can, but yeah, that supports me a lot. So if you would like, just subscribe. And I'm adding bushes in to make the, to fill in the empty spaces. It definitely needed it. And because you can't put trees like that close together, there has to be space between them. So the bushes really save my life a lot of the times. And I'm putting the path down, which I love this pathway. And yeah, it was surprisingly easy to work around this weird area. So I really needed a dirt path so that it looked like a real pathway. So yeah, I'm just putting that dirt path. Dirt path. Also, I am having a giveaway, which you will be having the chance to win a Sherb painting that I hand painted. So basically all you have to do to enter is just go on the giveaway video and then comment who your favorite villager is in Animal Crossing. And that's it. I will be picking a winner um, this Sunday. So yeah. And go ahead and go to the video so that you can see how the painting turned out. It's just a painting of Sherb. I love Sherb, so I wanted to paint him. And then lastly, I am putting some flowers to just, yeah, make add some more details. And I really like how I put flowers kind of in the middle of the pathway. Um, yeah, I just liked how I put the flowers everywhere. This is what's going to make the cottage a cottage. You will see I just put that spooky carriage and that is actually the roof of the cottage. So I got inspired to put the pumpkin as the roof by miss moppet underscore on instagram 
and I was also inspired by Ricoca.mori on Instagram as well. So, and I put that log there. That was my first time ever using that log, and I'm putting a rug. To match the spooky carriage, I also added a spooky table. Yeah, I think it matches a lot. I really loved how this area turned out because it reminded me a lot of um, fall. As you can see, yeah, that arch right there definitely looks like fall. And I just loved it. I just honestly want to do a whole fall island. Like, I actually saw someone do a fall island but it was a city, like kind of like a town, basically. Yeah, it was a town. Um, actually, no, it was actually a city. So they did like a autumnal city. Why? Okay, yeah, it's, it's autumn. It's an autumn city that they did. And I actually really like how it turned out. It was just like the fall colors and it was just a city in fall. So I really love obviously the fall time so I just I don't know like I can't really make a fall town right now because I, I I can't put that on myself really I have to at least finish this one but that's always an option guys if you guys don't know what to do with your island uh, I suggest doing a fall town like just make a it could be a fall um, natural island that's a good idea I just love the fall colors And here is the part where I realized I do not have enough trees. So I am going on a journey, a journey far away to get trees. And it's actually surprising to me that I don't have trees because I had a bunch of trees in that area, my little tree area, but I actually ran out. And as you can see, the first island was not a success. It was a money island and there was only uh, fruit trees, which I do not want fruit trees. I want regular trees. And here we go. We actually found them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's all that they had because they had fruit trees again at the top there. So that's all I can get. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more trees at some point, but this will do for this build. And I'm gonna put that there, but it literally covered everything, so I had to move it. And then I'm putting it here. So that basically sums up the area. I just finished with those two trees, and that was it. And you'll see the end result soon. You'll see it in one, two, three. Ew, my voice is... Let's just not talk about that. Here is me. Oh, here am I. Wait. Here I am rolling down, walking down into the cottage. Follow me on cotton.lace so that you guys can see the pictures that I post. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, 
give it a like and subscribe and comment below what you actually thought about the build. And goodbye!